Willie D. Live. I don't like the TV that people watch, so I made my own, America New. Now, I'm going to talk about that. Because I'm, I'm assuming this is getting monetized on, like, YouTube and all that. Do you know how much um, you make from YouTube? How, what the split is? I know exactly what the split is. What? Well, I, I mean, that's my business. No, no, no. Meaning, not your <laughs> business, that you, meaning... You don't know how much YouTube gets for an ad. Well, here's it. So well, here's, wait, let, me, let me just tell you. No, no, no. So it's six billion. Last quarter, YouTube made six billion dollars off of content creators. They only paid out one hundred million. So that means if they're getting six thousand dollars worth of ads. They only giving you a hundred. Right. So they never give you an accounting on how much they get on the ad. So the reason why I never looked at YouTube because I'm like, yo, I'm talking about being smart, but you jerking me. And plus, I don't trust Lior. You know, period. Anything he doing, I don't trust. I know what he did with music. Let me let me interject real quickly about it. Because I wanted, I definitely had to ask you about Lior. What in the hell did Lior do to you? Because I hear, <sighs> I've heard you a few times talk about Lior. I don't know the man from a whole It's not what ground. he did to me. It's what he but, did to our culture. And what I watched him do to other people. What, what specifically, what's the gripe? He's not from our culture. And he pushes people and monetizes the dysfunction of our culture. And he doesn't teach us how to actually make a certain kind of money and keep it in ownership. He teaches us to work for him. He robs us. I've watched him do it. So when we first started to work with Leo, and he broke up Rockefeller, you know, to me. It was definitely, you know, I'm not going to say that it's a, another man just got made to do something. But he was the one that would always give someone that option. Was Russell there at the time? Now, well, Russell, that's another thing. I didn't like the way he treated Russell. I thought he robbed Russell. He, I, 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 they, weren't, they weren't equal? Well, what happened was after they sold the company that Russell brought, they hired Lior. So then Lior didn't own Def Jam, but he still ran it. He worked for Universal. So I would watch Russell come in with a project, and it would be like Lior would have him waiting in the lobby and shit like that. Lior made Russell Isn't Simmons kind of, wait in like the lobby? Not like that, but meaning they wouldn't just give him a deal. He had, they weren't fairly treated, and that's Russell's business, so I don't want to get into that. But I could just tell you. I'd be sitting in the club with Russell and Lior, and I'd be like, yo, why you mess with him, man? He's just so disrespectful to you. Like, why you even... And I'd be in this... And he'd be like, chill, I don't deal with things that way. Well, I'm going to deal with it for you. Like I said, I used to take it personal. I was in the... I, you remember when his uh, appendix broke, exploded? Mm -hmm. I was at the hospital. He didn't... His, I didn't know his mother was in there. And she said the most... Some real foul... I mean, it was so racist, I couldn't believe it. Like, yo, you better get your mother. Like, one of those. Because she didn't really understand I was in the room. What so she said, I forgot. What she said? It was some nigga shit. Put it like that. It was something that I was like, she was like, yeah, she just old or whatever. I was like, yo, you wild. Like, you I mean, couldn't believe it. what she said. What you think she said. What, what you remember. I, it was something me, that, what, it was years ago. It felt like nigga. Whatever piece you remember. I, I, I saw you. When you hear nigga, you, it's a feeling. It's not. I, I hear other people say you nigga all day. Word? It don't bother me. You, you, I know what it, when it bothers me. It bothered me. Did you hear the word? <laughs> I told you, I don't remember, I don't remember, it felt like it, it was like 10, 15 years ago, but we had to have an argument over it, so I was like, it felt like something that was that racist, it was so many things, when I first w got with uh, Lior, the first thing he did was try to make me have a beef with another black person on his behalf, and I was like, he's like, you with me, right, if you with me, then you go to, you gotta go to war with me, I said, bro, I got a lot of beefs on the street, you gonna go to war with me, hmm. let's not do that, then I asked him, um, how much is rich? What's a wealthy guy? You know what he told me? 600000 after taxes. I never liked the way he would have... Uh, 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 and again, I don't like to go off on another man. He ain't here. So, uh, you know, bottom line is I don't like the way he would treat my culture still. I don't like the way he talked to the culture. There would be times that he would be saying things and, like, I'd be with, like, Beanie Siegel or something, and he'd say something that was so offensive, un unknowing, unconsciously just demeaning. And Beanie would be ready to knock him out, and I'd have to be like, I'd have to bark on him so Beanie didn't do nothing to him. You understand? I'd be like, I got it. Don't worry. Like, he was just an offensive person. When I would, what he couldn't understand about me is that I could have white people working for me because he thinks black people could only work, have black people working for him. So when I would walk in and have anybody white in my staff, he'd go to the side and go, are you okay? Let me know if they're treating you wrong. Blink twice. I swear to God he did that shit. Yeah, the blink twice, the napkin. He used to do it to every one of my assistants or anyone from that culture. No disrespect, but this is what he used to do. So I could go on and on and on and on and on. And 
also, I you know, I, I just think that every every Batman needs a Joker, and he's that clown. Mm. 